Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back. Let's play some more Europa Universalis as the Ruskies, as Muscovy. Uh, so in the last episode, we beat up on the Great Horde, we beat up on Novgorod, mostly just took monetary concessions, nothing major. We did take some land from Novgorod, fed it to Belazero, Piskov, we took one province for ourselves and two over here. Um, and so now we're just kind of recovering from that war because wars in the north are not kind to your manpower pool. Um, but yes, we are doing well aside from that. Um, it is all well. So let's get up to five. So that's five and then we won't build any more of those. Oh, actually we got one, two, three, four. So we actually don't need one of these. So let's see which one gets us the most, point three. And uh, do we need forts? Well, to be honest, I feel like we don't even need this one anymore. We have the one on Muscov, Muscovy. Or Moskva. Um, could definitely use some more of that. Yeah, no, don't need that. Okay, I guess we'll sit, sit on our money for now. We need to get our stab up a bit. 140, man. Is that from the Streltsy? Overextension, religious unity. Streltsy raises at 18%. That's crazy. I didn't I did not know it was gonna be so much. That's unfortunate, because that sets us back a decent amount, because we need to get our stab up to at least zero. Ideally we would get up to one so we can get some um Um what's the word I'm looking for? Uh prosperity, but oh also we can do these clicks, so we might as well, right? Um, seek support and demand admin, and then we can, uh, just do that, make them happy for now, and we can, do we not have, very good, very good, let's get these guys all mixed up here, got some more men to upgrade over here, Eastern Militia. And there we go. We have exiled armies still. Donde? Oh, got a five stack up here. Well, who knew? All right, well, let's get you guys down there and then get this stack over here. We got a big army, actually. Very good. Get that Patriarch Authority up, and let's actually just put those two points into that right now. I hate to do it, but honestly, as far as idea sets go, once we get past this one, I'm not really too concerned with anything else in that, um, um, what sort of, geez, I'm like struggling to come up with any words, um, idea group, my bad. Ah. <sighs> So, hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know I am so far. Muscovy is a fun one just because it's kind of like a map painter. Um, it's kind of like a Hoi 4 kind of game where you just invade everybody around you and, you know, all you got to really do is manage alliances, so it's really good. Um, let's actually just have you guys drill. Get that army professionalism cranking again. Uh, let's actually do that. That way we can... Oh, looks like we can anyways. I was going to say so we could get a little bit of additional levies, but not available. So that's fine. Whatever. How's the disputed succession? Pomerania, huh? They would give me a marriage, so I'll do that. He's pretty young, but it's worth trying out. Diplo. 10% Diplo, which is pretty good. Decline of the merchant class. Oh, Danzig. It's a juicy looking Danzig. So England is getting ransacked by Lollard heretics. So looks like England is not going to be having a good game this day, this time around. The Ottomans are very slow to consolidate Asia Minor. Conquest of Synop. So it looks like they're working on it, but geez. I feel like they could be a little bit quicker than that. Um, let's get you guys improved. So I'm thinking maybe it's about time to annex one of these guys. Did you core up all this stuff over here? You did. All right, so let's do that then. Let's annex you. It's gonna take March 76, so about seven years, which is fine. 
Let's uh, turn down those rebels just a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Just speed five in it. Do a lot of speed five as Muscovy. Can't really do a whole lot early on. Um, kind of stuck up here in the north. So. Support independence. So your attitude is 0% disloyal. Okay. Whatever. So they've got a lot of tech on me, actually. So let's get you guys turned back on. And there you go. No, I'm not going to spend any more stab. Actually, I take it back. I'm going to spend one more stab just because I want prosperity. <laughs> so... 60% uh, a month, so that's pretty good. And we can consecrate a Metropolitan here in Tiver. And another one here, which we will. Why not up here? Oh, Garadian. 30 dev, right, not enough dev, not enough dev. Why is there not one here? Huh, not sure. Let's get that turned up there. Don't want to be losing all of our innovativeness, which we certainly will sooner or later. August von Mecklenburg. Isn't um, August the second von Mecklenburg? Isn't that a name of a historical figure in uh, not Lithuania? <gasps> oh wait a minute! Oh, that's really weird. It said Lithuania. I didn't see it in Poland. I thought they lost the PU already. All right, uh, August von Mecklenburg. I'm pretty sure is um was a World War One general in uh in uh, Germany. I might be wrong, but I feel like I remember seeing that. So let's take a look at our truce timers, see where that's at. 77, 81, the Danish, humiliate rival, and Kazan we have a claim on. And you're just allied to Crimea, so I could probably do that. I could probably... Hmm... I think Crimea would be a pretty good vassal because then we could feed him the great horde because he's a horde as well and horde ideas are very good. Let me see here. Is there a way to see this? Not really. Huh. So let's do this. Reconquest. Oh, so we can give him a couple of provinces to perm. Right, um, let's do a reconquest then. Put you guys over here. We can just speed five it because he's gonna be absolutely pitiful. Circassia. Oh, I didn't even see he had a vassal. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. So let's get you guys over here. Stack wipe that little army over here. Ideally, stack wiping them. Doesn't look like it. Oh, he did it. The mad lad did it. All right, let's just get you guys all spread out over yonder. <coughs> Excuse me. Very good. Just stack wiping everybody. Sieging this all down. Merc maintenance and a free little bit of taxes. We're up to six ducats a month. That's juicy. Uh, so he got a got an heir, which is kind of a bummer, but you know. Can't really be too upset about it. Get you guys all the way over here. Crimea wants to uh, try to siege down my men or my lands. They're here cruising for a bruising though. So it looks like the Great Horde is also, as soon as I stack wiped his army, the Great Horde just pounced. All right, let's finish up this siege here. We lost the Siege of Tin. 
I didn't even know we had siege down as capital. That's a bummer. Sack of Kazan. I will certainly take the army professionalism. So Poland will join now, which means I'm probably going to use him to attack the Great Horde. Or maybe Denmark. He's probably rivaled to Denmark. He is. That's really good for me, honestly. If I could use the Commonwealth to my advantage like that. Okay, so let's um, have you return that and also give this to him. So both of those should go to him. Um, this is all Sunni, isn't it? See, that's one of the bad things about Muscovy early on is that expansion south is really tough because you're going to deal with mad rebellion. So that's kind of a pain in the ass. But I suppose we do it. Just take this state here. And war reps and all your money. Yeah, I think that's the plan. So now we just got to wait on his war exhaustion to tick up. And he'll give us whatever we want. We're probably going to end up having to siege down um, Crimea down here, which is fine. We can we can do that, no problem. Just send our men down here. I'm assuming that the golden or the the great horde's already beaten up on them, but it doesn't appear so. Are we going to get this anytime soon? Yeah, we are. So we're going to wait. Also going to go with uh, incre decreased AE. Though I'm not really too worried about AE, but it's just good. Good, uh, good practice. So we're just waiting on that. Siege down Crimea. Maybe I should vassalize him. Oh, really? Damn. That's a bummer. Don't want to lose all that. That's a lot of progress to be losing on, um... Okay, there we go. Government progress, that's what I was trying to say there. But I was over here drooling on myself instead. So let's do that. Get you guys up here. Peace you out. Very good. Embrace. Take that tech. Hire a... That's actually a good time for the ad advisor. Let's get you guys over on... Uh, these steps over here and get you uh, drilling. One more month, core you up. Um, I don't think that we're going to be doing any conversions anytime soon. So I'm not even gonna worry about these ideas here, the national decisions. So let's get you guys putting down rebels over here. Good. Perfect. We're also able to uh, upgrade those guys, so that's good. Um, really? Are, are you serious? And more... Man, that's, that's pretty lame. Um, whatever. <clears throat> so let's ask for some contributions from you. Let's build... Eh, we're good. So we got another fort there too, which is really good for us. Bronze cannons, so they got Miltech 7 already. Dang, took it five years ahead of time. Damn, Otto Man, you spend that points, boy. I respect it, I respect it. All right, still not gonna royal marry you. I don't trust you. Um, I'm gonna have these guys annex pretty soon, so I'm gonna give it the give them a couple months of love. So uh, Royal Mary Bella Zero, let them come. So 30 years of Byzantine influx. That's pretty good. That'll help me get caught up on tech a little bit. So let's get you guys building spy network. Because as soon as we can, we want to get some claims on, on the Baltic. 
Um, drill gain modifier? No, I don't care about the drill. I just want the professionalism. That's why I drill them, not for, not for drill, if that makes sense. Wait, why are they? Oh, it's winter. Right, right, right. Okay, so get them over here in these steps. Shouldn't be getting any attrition here. Okay, whatever. They can they can take a little bit of attrition. Um, so what was it that just popped up over here? Some diplo points, but can't really do it. Oh damn! Yeah, we're built almost up to our force limit, so we're we're doing pretty good there. All right, next month. Very good. Integration is a slow process. Got another guy over here in the free Strelsey. Thank you, sir. So these guys are all. Ready to roll. So, if I attack Denmark, Poland will help, but Brandenburg and Oldenburg. <coughs> so it looks like Poland, Lithuania will take care of Brandenburg for me, and anything Denmark sends down through the north, and I will take over Sweden and Norway as well as the Baltic. That sounds like a good plan. So let's get you guys split up over here. Uh, okay, uh, so what's a good province to get <coughs> get a claim on? Looks like uh, Revel. Very good. We'll keep that ticking up here. Poland, would you join in, please, sir? Take Revel. Get you guys over here. And get you guys up this way. Oh, they didn't have the, uh, okay, there's no garrison here. Very good. Well, in that case, I better get down here because these men are about to get stack wiped. Oh, no. That's not what I want. This is what I want, though. He'll get a morale tick, but it's fine. It's still a stack wipe. Damn. 19,000 men lost for less than five. That is what I call a one-sided battle. All right, very good. So let's get you guys over there. Very good. Let's get you guys up here. Looks like Lithuania wants some of that, but they will get none of that. Okay, so. Poland isn't going to get any land out of this, so he can totally just just eat it. Just absolutely just lose all his men in these battles for all I care, and it's not going to affect me in the slightest. So let's see if we can march all the way up over here through Stockholm. Same with you. Ideally, they aren't walking on top of each other, taking a bunch of attrition, but it'll happen sometimes. Um, let's just do it. I'm not gonna build any big berthas yet. Um, let's get that workshop before we continue with that idea group. All right, let's actually hold you for a second. There we go. Just accidentally stack wiping a bunch of Danish armies on the way over, NBD. Let's lower that autonomy. Get you guys all separated up over here. I will always take the military professionalism and we will lose the autonomy because Kasimov is a garbage province anyways. Let's do that and then let's build up a couple of production places. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Brandenburg, are you ready to peace out? They're not. Bummer. Oldenburg. So, uh, you're also at war with Anhalt. And Bohemia. Oh, Brandenburg's dead. He's so dead. Very dead. Very much so. 
All right, and when is our truce up with Novgorod? 81, so three years. Golden Horde, or the Great Horde's already expired, but I don't know. Like I said, it's tough. All right. Joseph the First of Austria. Very cool. Good on you, bro. Monthly autonomy change or max promoted cultures. Let's go with the autonomy. Let's just get these guys down here on these provinces. Um, <clears throat> only take what is their right. So we're going to lose some... Um, Ah, goodness gracious. So burgers are going to lose loyalty because I don't care if they're loyal that much. Sound like decent justification? Just waiting on this siege of Stockholm. 28% chance every month and we still haven't gotten anything. Let's get you guys over here. Get the defensive roll, very good. All right, let's actually just have you guys come back over here and drill it up. There we go. Won the siege. So Brandenburg, still don't want out. So Poland is actually getting kind of stomped on. Brandenburg surrendered to Anhalt and they gave them land. Two, two provinces. Huh. So am I just taking like a little bit of land up here then? I do want Viborg. I think this is what I want. I mean, obviously, I, I think ideally I'd get a little bit of money from them as well. But that's probably not really an option. So let's get you guys over here <clears throat> on the capital. Oh, we got to come over here. Right, right. Yes, of course, yes. Oh, they're gonna kill my men over here. You jerks. Yeah, feels bad, man. Looks like I came down here and then everybody started fleeing. They were scared. Scared of the Danish. They said the Danish are coming. Oh, we still got a ticking war score, so I'm not too worried about that. Mostly just want Viborg. Uh, Revel seems like a nice province as well. Where do we get re rebels? It's just peasants and perm. Don't really care about that. Um, corruption is fine. So let's just get you guys over here on their capital. And there we go. Just like that. Am I going to loot? Mm, most of that money is going to go to you. So I'm going to actually take land instead. I'm not sure, because Bornholm would allow me to uh, maybe start working my way into the Empire. Start crashing the Empire, but then again, maybe not worth. Do I take Bornholm? Do I humiliate him and give up more land? It's a possibility. No, I think I peace out right now. I think we don't humiliate him, but we do take war reps and can I have him transfer me trade power? No. So I could release Livonia. <coughs> Excuse me. I would really like some money, sir. Let's see if we can get a little bit more war score in the next couple of months. We 
Very good. So that way we can release Estonia as a vassal, eat up probably all this, and that way all we have to do is core up this. We'll get war reps. It's pretty good. Um, might be able to peace out Brandenburg. That'll actually give me a lot more war score to work with. So let's do that. Um, might as well take a little bit of money, right? Very good. Cool. Oh, I gave it. To oh, son of a gun. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. I didn't realize I was giving the land to uh, Lithuania. Bummer. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, win some, you lose some, I suppose. Well, that'll do it for this one. Took two forts from him, so I'm happy with that. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the series, please show some support. Leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more of this, go ahead and subscribe. And if you ding the little bell, it'll actually send you a notification every time I upload, which is the best way to keep up to date on the channel. But with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot. And I'll catch you guys later.